Hey folks, it's Pat here. Got a chapter 13 request, which is this guy right here. Predictions from the least squares regression line. Um, these aren't too difficult, but they do involve a little bit of math. And it's the first time that you see some math in chapter 13. Uh, but the math is going to involve this equation right here, uh, which is the regression equation. Um, now you're all familiar with this. You've seen it before. The regression equation is just um, the slope equation. So y equals mx plus b with a couple different terms and a little bit of a different ordering to it, okay? And so y, from now on, y is always going to reserve, is, uh, um, refer to the observed value of y, all right? So when we measured these two things, 1980 and 1990 per capita income, blah, 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 this is our observed value of y. Y with this little stroke or an apostrophe or a little you know, angle guy over here is now what we call y hat, and y hat is the predicted value of y. Okay, it's not always going to be the same as y, all right? Um, this number right here, 4.11, this is actually b. It is our slope intercept, okay? And so intercept occurs when this line here hits this line here, y. So when y is technically set to zero, that's our, our slope intercept. And then the next one is our actual slope. So positive 2.43 right here. And then, of course, our x value. So you multiply the slope times the x value, add in this in order to get your predicted value of y. Now, these are the three pieces of information that you're going to need in order to solve these problems. You need the, um, the regression equation, you need the data set right here, and then you need the plot. Well, you don't really need the plot, but it makes your life a lot easier. All right. So anyway, let's uh, answer these questions using those three things that it gives us. So first of all, fill in the blank. For these days, 1980 per capita incomes that are less than the mean of 1980 per capita income tend to be paired with 1999 per capita income that are less than the mean. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about here but basically it's just asking you about the relationship is it a positive relationship or is it a negative relationship okay remember if you did the previous ones reading these from left to right positive relationship goes up negative relationship goes down okay and so it's just asking you all right if x is small is y small okay and so the answer to that question is yes just take a look at this one since we have a positive relationship if our x value along this axis is small so like seven in this one then our y value is small, okay? And so, um, and so, yeah, that our 1980 incomes that are small, less than, are correspond with 1991s that are less than or small, okay? And if it's negative relationship, it would be the opposite. Hopefully, we'll get one of those in your next, just so I can sh kind of show you the difference. All right. So this next question, according to the regression equation for an increase of $1,000 in 1980 per capita income, there's a corresponding increase in 1999 uh, per capita income. Well, to answer this one, um, it, all it's asking for you is a slope right here, okay? So because as, as, as our X value goes up by one, our Y value will go up by one um, times whatever this is, okay? And so now it's asking for the corresponding increase, which all you're gonna do is um, just directly punch in the slope there, okay? And from a regression equation, what's the predicted 1999 value, blah, blah, blah. Whenever it says predicted value like this, sometimes it says observed. But when it says predictive, we're going to have to do some math. When it says observed, you just look up the table, okay, and see what the actual observed value of like y was. All right, so this one is uh, 10.1. And so the observed value of 10.1 as an x would be this guy right here. But it's not asking us for the reserved value. It's asking for the observed value. It's asking us for the predicted value. So all we have to do is just punch this into the equation. All right, and so 10.1 is our x value. Just take that, multiply it by your slope, positive 2.43, and then add your intercept. 4.11 just a little bit of easy breezy math right there and so we'd have a predicted value of 28.653 notice that this is actually different than that uh than that one that's fine that's absolutely fine okay so i know that throws some people off oh shouldn't they be the same no 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 they don't have to be the same Nope. We'll, we'll explain why that is in the future. Okay, and here's the other question. So 1999 per capita income when the 1980 uh, per capita income was $10.1,000. So what was the observed value? This is when we just go look at the table right here, 27.1. Whenever it's asking you for the observed value, all it's doing is asking you for the table lookup. Okay, and again, notice those are different. Totally fine. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we get a negative one here just because they're a little bit different. Uh, nope. Try again. More practice. 
And nope. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> uh, more practice. And huzzah, there's one right there. So this one's negative. Notice you can tell that just by looking at it. Left to right, if it's sloping down, it's negative. So some of these answers will be a little bit different. Fill in the blank. For these data, using use selling prices that are greater than the mean, so higher than, um, tend to be paired with mileages that are lower than, okay? So it's going to be the opposite, less than. All right, so, and look at this closely. Use selling prices. So use selling prices is our y-axis, all right? So when they are higher, when they are up here, they are associated with mileages, which is our, our x value, that are lower, okay? So high y, low x on this one, okay? And if you ever get confused on it, just pick out one of these data points and then look at where it would be, all right? So like this one, very high x, it's up here in 36, 37-ish, but very low y, it's down here at like 24, when most of the other y values are higher than that, okay? So hopefully that helps, all right? Um, fill in the blank, according to the regression equation for an increase of 1,000 miles, uh, there is a corresponding decrease. We know that's a decrease because this slows down. And if we take a look at the uh, regression equation, the slope is negative now. So we know it's a decrease. All right, from the regression equation, what's the predicted? So use selling price when the mileage is 30.8,000. So predicted value means that we have to calculate it. 30.8, let's go ahead and punch that regression into that regression equation, which is right there. Okay, times negative our slope, um, dot four two. Okay, and then our intercept is still positive, so we would add in our intercept, 39.85. Okay, there we go. So 26.914. Okay, next one. Regression equation, what's the predicted use selling price when the mileage is 34,000? 34.7,000. So 34.7,000 multiplied by uh, negative... Uh, dot four two and then add that thirty nine dot eighty five our intercept there we go twenty five twenty five dot two seven six and remember if it asked you for the observed value you just look it up in the table okay whatever the y value corresponding with that one in the table is which I'm kind of curious now so thirty four dot seven is this guy right here okay so notice that the observed y value is twenty six but this one's 25, all right? That's perfectly fine, okay? Just be really careful whether or not it's asking you observed value or predicted value. So anyway, I hope those help. Chapter 13, if you have any questions, ping me. But if you plow through these, it unlocks the last couple things that you need to do in Chapter 13. And next thing you know, you'll be done with this for, <laughs> for the remainder of the semester, all right? So <laughs> we'll do uh, videos on those other ones here pretty soon. See you there.